guys, it's Shoba here. Welcome to another video for The Wild Bunch, the YouTube design team for Wild Orchid Crafts. And today's video is on my project for the Wild Bunch design team challenge. And this challenge is for the month of September and the theme we had for this month was back to school. So it was perfect because September is the month when the kids here in the UK go back to school. And my project is going to be a gift for my sweet little um, neighbour's girl and she's so so sweet she's actually starting high school this um this September so I, I created something for her so it was just perfect so I'm going to move my sign out of the way and share with you what I've actually made so here it is and this is an altered tin and um it's actually a pen holder and it's come out so so beautiful so as you can see the main colours on this is actually pink because it's actually her favourite colour and her name is Macy so hi Macy darling if you're watching this is for you so um, Macy is actually going to um, high school in September as I said and um, so this was just perfect and I had to do this for her because her room is all pinked out and so is um, Funnily enough, the bathroom, her mum's just actually redecorated it and most of it is pink. So it's just a pink crazy family and I hope she really likes this. So um, what I've done, I've taken um, this tin here and it's actually um, a mashed potato kind of a tin. And I've not used the top of it as you can see here. So it's a really nice um, size tin. And what I've done, I've used the... Um, Dom Bibi designer collection paper here and it's just an absolutely gorgeous collection that she had out I'm not sure if it's available anymore but it was the um I can't remember what it was called I think it was the uh, uh, wild creatures or something I'm not sure so don't quote me on that and what I've done I've just taken one sheet of the 12 by 12 and as you can see this is the 12 by 12 paper and it's beautiful with white polka dots on this baby pink and the inside of lined with the reverse of that same paper so it's got this beautiful um, shades of um, pastel coloured butterflies inside there so it's just so so pretty and to decorate it all I've taken this beautiful pink pom pom trim from my tr um, from my stash and I've used it to um, line the top there so it looks really nice and neat and this topper is also from uh, the collection and um, it's just this really nice pink house design which I thought was perfect for Macy because she loves pink and um, you know it's just really nice and cute and girly so um, the the embellishments like the butterflies and the other die cuts are actually from the same collection and I've used it all around so we'll start from this side here and I'll tell you what I've actually used so it's a bit difficult because I don't want it to roll off so here I've used these beautiful um, large roses and this one is from this pack here and this pack is a 20 mixed pink tone trellis roses and there's a 40 millimeter ones and the code there is FM-00354 and I'll give you a closer look so I've used the purple one and there are different shades of the purples and pinks in there so I've used that large one here in the centre and on the side here just tucked underneath that purple one I've used one of these and these are really really pretty and this one is it's not very clear here but it's the um, two-tone tan wild roses and the 30 millimeter ones and the code there PM-00112 and this beautiful two-tone one here is from this pack and this pack is the 25 mixed pink and white small curly wild roses and the code there is PM-00037 and one more in this little cluster is this really really gorgeous cherry blossom and it's from this mixed pack and I love the mixed packs and this one is the 50 mixed colour cherry blossom PM-00032 so those are basically the packs of flowers that I've used and I'm just going to show you them as I go around so I won't be showing you the codes anymore but all the codes will be listed below if you want to check those out so above this cluster I've just put some of this uh, Prima Bling and then this die cut bird and it's in this beautiful mint green colour so all the colours on this um, are really really nice pastel colours 
and it looks really pretty and then as we go around I've put this beautiful tiny little die cut birdie there and this is in a pink shade and I've gone round the whole um, tin in this um, beautiful organzelec um, ribbon and it's really nice, it's got something really unusual and I've had it in my stash for a while so I've used it all the way around and it comes with the pre-tied bows on the strings and I've also taken another piece of the um, designer paper collection and just put a strip along the bottom just to create a nice border and then here's another beautiful die cut butterfly in a blue and they are actually foil foiled as you can see there and then we carry on going round and here we have another little cluster of flowers and the only different one here is this which is from this pack and this is from this beautiful pack here and if you can catch it there it's the 20 mixed blue tone trellis roses 40 millimeter ones and the code there is fm-00325 and again i've used a cherry blossom from the same pack as before in a pink shade and one in a purple because it has hints of purple through the paper as well and another one of those um beautiful roses there which are the tan ones and here behind all the flowers i've just took some of this um the rose buds and i took three of those in the brown tone and it's actually the chocolate brown closed rose buds six millimeter one the code there is BUD081 so I'll put those behind here another butterfly there in the brown that's why I added the brown flowers just to tie in with everything some more of the Prima bling and this really nice like a brownie ready color and then this is a Prima um, sticker which I've backed on some of this card and I just um, popped it on there with the initial M M for Macy and then there's another butterfly in the brown and another cluster on top here so we're coming back to the front and this one again I've used the same pack of the large mix, um, mixed pink tone trellis roses and another one of those cherry blossoms in the blue, one in the pink and some more of those brown rose buds there and we'll come back to the top, sorry the front so here is that beautiful um, pen holder and I really hope Macy likes it and I think it's just turned out so, so beautiful. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. So um, check out all the links down below and all the codes for the products that I've used. And I'll see you again very soon with another project for the Wild Orchid Crafts Wild Bunch team. See you again. Bye.